Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, mic check one, two, one, two. I'm kidding. Anyway, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, aka back at it again. And this time I got some 2K21 gameplay for you. Now, obviously, some of your favorite and most influential 2K YouTubers have been out here. They've posted their videos, gone on Twitter, posted their rants. So I figured now's the best time for someone like me to, you know, come in and do what I do. The hyena of the 2K community right now, just, just scavenging up in this place like, yo. With some extra views up in here, just give me that, give me that one, give me that one. But nah, uh, <laughs> as I said, I got a gameplay with the 2K21 demo, which as some of you know, came out yesterday, 3 p.m. British Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. Pacific Time. That's on the Xbox service. For those of you that are on PS4 and were out here waiting for it with me, man, did we wait nearly an hour for this thing to drop because the PlayStation services wouldn't get it out. But... Once it did come out, I'm not gonna lie, I started the download, and as some of you know, I play card as a little side hobby, you know what I'm saying? Because I think I'm sick with the stick sometimes. But, uh, so I had to pause it. This morning, uh, Call of Duty dropped a new update, so I deleted the 2K demo, and then I had to re-download it. Funniest time of my life. Ended up having to delete 2K20 to do that. Gonna have to re-download that tonight. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I might as well have kept 2K20. Like, I'm not, I, I've... I think I had a better gaming experience playing 2K20 than the demo. Now, don't get me twisted. As we all know, the demo is just a prototype of the full game. So, we're not expecting what we see. Now, actually, that's a load of... Sh that's a load of... I ain't even gonna swear. That's a load of BS. There is two weeks until 2K21 drops. If this is what's coming out, I'm not gonna lie to you. I will spend the 60 pounds because I need... I need... You know what I'm saying? YouTube. But if I had my own willing choice, i.e. if I was someone else, don't buy the game. Don't buy the game, like honestly, just off the cosmetic basis. Let's be 100% serious. You saw the introduction. If you've played 2K20 before, you can easily tell everything looks the same. The only different thing here is you've got the shot clock at the free throw line, which is what was introduced in the NBA bubble. And not actually it was introduced this season on most courts that you see the shot clock at the free throw line just to, you know, give fans that more appealing view of, ooh, look, there's a shot clock. Makes it more fancy. But um, that's the only cosmetic change I can say has happened to the game, honestly, because what else is there? like everything feels the same there's the new shot meter that i actually do like i'm i'm partially in a love-hate relationship with the new shot meter just because it's harder to green on this than it than it is in most 2ks but this shot meter has gone back to i can't remember which 2k it was i think it was 2k15 where we had the shot meter at the bottom of our feet and you had to land it in the middle except for here on this one it's a thing of you have to land it left right middle the thing just keeps moving all over the place for no goddamn reason but it chooses to and I like that because it makes it harder to green. I personally have a hateful relationship with greening jump shots just because I do it quite a bit in 2K20, but it's so unrealistic because you can jump into so many lobbies with so many kids who end up greening every single thing. So I personally believe less greens, good thing. Uh, the other thing that they came out with was they allowed you two options with this demo, which was the My Player Builder and five quick games. The whole five quick games idea, stupid as hell. Because remember, they did come out saying, oh yeah, you can play with your friends. Which they were smart with. I'm going to give them that. The wording in that was smart. Because they said, you can play with your friends. They never said you can play with your friends online. They meant as in, yo, if your friend's in your house, which he can't be because of, cor I'm not even going to say the word, but because of what's happening in the world right now, oh, you can play with him. How the hell, am, you know, we're supposed to be socially distancing 2K. How the hell am I supposed to play with somebody who's not in my house? Idiots. But, um... Yeah, they were right in the head with that. You can play with your friend if your friend lives with you. Uh, my player builder, there were like six builds max, which I find stupid. Now, obviously, I'm still going to do it because, you know what I'm saying, my my player builder videos get hella views. You know what I'm saying? Hella views for a small YouTuber like myself. Get way more than I have subscri people subscribed. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, Gameplay-wise, a few things I picked up on, on were screens look a little bit like first one being screens look a little bit more realistic in the fact that in some of this gameplay you'll notice there's a bunch of situations where the defender easily slips through the screen slips over or under the screen without actually getting hit by it and then on other situations they do get hit by it but the part that i love most about it is now in this 2k the roll man rolls as in the screener rolls in old 2k you had it whereby he'd set the screen 
and then he'd be hella slow to twist and start going one, two, three, four. Nah, he's. Whereas now, it's a thing of even if the screen don't hit, as soon as he feels the defender go by, your guy has gone down straight beeline to the basket, which I love because that's what you're supposed to do in basketball. If if the person gets by you or is hit by the screen, you should be looking to roll ASAP or fade. There's no need for you to stand there for another three seconds and then go, oh, sorry, here we go. The other part of screens that I like is on the defensive end. As a guy who uses a lot of guards, it's a thing of... All 2Ks had it broken in the fact that when you got screened, you automatically got sucked into an animation where you're just stuck there going, yeah, sorry, I'm stuck here. There's nothing I can do. Whereas this one, it feels, now obviously this is against AI, but when I got hit in screens, it was to the point where I could slide out of them. And whenever I was seeing the AI get hit by screens, it was more realistic in that they were really trying to fight over the screen in a way that allowed them to keep up with their defender rather than just trying to run solidly through the screen. That was something that I thought to myself, real nice. Um, there's the introduction, as we all know, the Pro Sticks making its big evolution comeback, which I'm finding quite fun and annoying at the same time. Fun in the fact that I might actually have to learn how to shoot with the shots with the Pro Stick properly. Because what I noticed was this game is built around, like, I don't know who they had do the dribbling animations, but this is the most James Harden type dribbling I've ever seen in my life. Because any of you that have played with, like, the left, the, like, you know how, I think it was flick it out left or flick it out right for your push out dribble. The push out dribble is OP. Like the space you create on that thing is kind of overpowered. Cause I remember you will see a few a few clips of it in here, but there were several times where I literally just did it to create space off the defender because I was noticing nothing's happening and boom! I had so much space I had to say to myself, yeah, like God. So I'ma learn to use the pro stick, because I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be the number one cheese to do online. Uh one thing I really hate though is defense. I honestly do feel like 2K has made this more impossible to play defense than it should be. And that's not me saying as in, oh, it's hard to guard, blah, 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 players, because, you know, they just skill me up. No, that's me saying as in, you can bump into someone. And in this 2K, it's not even a thing of animations. It just looks as though your defender has baby oil just laced up all over his body and stuff and just says, yo, offensive player, just rub all off of me. Like, just whoop, slip and slide straight through to the basket. Because in this gameplay, you'll notice... All the all the players keep getting by me with ease and quickness. Like I'm seeing way too many guys just slip off of me to get to the basket. And now it's just at the point where I'm like, yeah, like I'm hoping that's something they fix. Cause in real life basketball, everyone knows one thing. If you jam someone at the line, you jam them. So it's a thing of if you bump someone, you're looking to stop them. And what else was there that I thought was kind of the blow by? Everyone can say bye to the blow by because honestly, in this game, like I was using Paul George more than any other person on the Clippers, mainly because I knew on the team he has the best handles, in my opinion. That's up for everyone else's discussion. But on the team, I feel like he has the best handles. Maybe Lou Will does, but I felt like Paul George, just based off how he dribbles in real life, probably best handles in the game, so best one to use. And the one thing I noticed was he couldn't get by anyone. Not, not as in he couldn't dribble by them, but I mean as in after having that first step on his defender, he was not beating him for speed or anything. Like, he was fully out here just choking hard. So, I don't know whether that's the thing that, like, 2K is gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, 2K is gonna drop a, a patch of this game as soon as it gets dropped. Because there's gonna be hella complaints, because there's a lot of things in here that just don't work. Like, they just don't work. The main thing is everyone's gonna be driving to the cup, because for some reason... Like, if you're shooting jump shots, you can miss. But when you're driving to the cup, more often than not, if you're a tall guy, which is what most people I'm guessing are going to do with the whole 6'8 point guard thing, you can literally just make every single layup if you go straight up at the cup. Uh, but it's, this is 2K20, but with so much broken stuff in it, whereby it's a thing of... 2K did over tweaking to where they wanted it to come off like, oh, it's a completely new, different game. You know, we worked so hard on it. We did so much to make everyone so happy. We split the dev team into two. I honestly do believe more likely than not when they say they split the dev team, they went 25% of you focus on current gen, 75% of you focus on next gen. Because at this point, what I'm seeing in current gen, Loki looks like someone just took the sliders and started slapping them left and right and saying, well, if we slap this this way, slap that that way. Yeah, it feels like it's a different game. Well, in all honesty, it doesn't feel like it's a different game. It feels like 2K20 just with a bit more arcadey feel to it. This is not simulation. Like, I've been saying this for a while. 2K does not make simulation basketball anymore. Like, I get the fact that NBA Live ain't out here no more, but I hope they come back. Because right now, 2K is really slacking. 
Anyway, that's the end of the video. Tell me how you feel about the 2K2021 20, demo, because honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs>